Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, winter is really kicking in, it's really got cold, so I felt it was time to film my coat collection. It's quite big, so I think I can predict that this is gonna be quite of a long video, so maybe grab a coffee or a cup of tea, sit down. <laughs> This is going to be at least like a half an hour video, but I really wanted to include all the styles because they are quite different from each other. They are not all in this rail at the moment because I couldn't fit them all in one rail. And I really want to point out that because I really like classic styles, I don't really follow trends anymore. Um, so some of the coats I have it from last year but because they are classics they are still in stock to me it's very important to like really build a um, timeless wardrobe so you know invest in pieces that I can wear year after year not just like for one season and the way I decided to give a structure to the video it is to start from the lowest price point until the most expensive coats like until like the designer coats I have like two Max Mara coats to show you as well so um, the price point of the video is gonna be from like let's say the 100 euros price point until 2000 so let's start from the most affordable ones until the most expensive I'm gonna start from uh, this Fox 4 it is 105 euros from Revolve in terms of sizing I sized up because I really like um, all of my coats to be quite big so as we go along in the video you're gonna find that they are all pretty much large sizes so I am I'm gonna say it now at the beginning of the video because I think it's good for your reference I am um, 175 tall which is I think 58 so I'm very tall I have very long arms and if I want a coat to really look snugly on me and like feel cozy I need to size up so this is a size large which is one size up to my regular size in case for reference if you want the same fit and I really like to in general when I wear coats to style it in this way so for example if I'm wearing a white uh, a white jacket I would most probably style it with like a cream or white sweater underneath I really like this uh, like tone sur tone um, that is the way I style it, so I, even with the sweater I'm wearing now, it's quite nice. And when it comes to these short jackets, I don't like them, for example, with like dresses or skirts. I prefer it with like trousers or jeans, so basically what I'm wearing right now is something that I would definitely wear outside uh, with this like light knit and jeans and heels or sneakers, it doesn't really matter, uh, shoes, it depends on the day. And then I quite like the little collar and then you have like this uh, hook buttons. Button it up, you don't see the buttons. So this was number one. Uh, the second one, it is very similar, it is another Fox fur also from, I found it on Revolve. It is 125 euros, so very similar to the previous one, uh, just slightly more expensive. I'm gonna put it on so you can, I can show you the difference. Um, so of course, the color is different because this is like more of a camel color. The neckline is different, so the other one, if you want to compare it, it was more of a short little collar while this one is more of a collar, if you see it here. Uh, when you close it, this one has two hooks while the previous one had three. Um, and then the other difference is that this one has pocket while the other one didn't have any pocket. So I think this is more of a a little bit more casual uh, feel in this jacket comparing to the other one. The other one, the white one, is maybe if you are after like a dressy look, especially now with the festivities and like Christmas, and you like the feminine look to wear a little fox fur on top of your dresses, I think 
these ones are really nice the white one is even more dressy but I think you can do exactly the same with this one it is a little bit too girly as a styling for myself so I go more for a different styling with like jeans or like leggings tucked in boots and um, a, a similar color sweater but if you are more into like a night styling I think this is a good jacket that you can wear at night as well. I sized up in this one as well, so this one actually even more. I went for a size extra large and I do like the way it fits. Next one up, it is, I would say, more relaxed and casual. It is for me like an everyday jacket. It is from another stories. Um, if you want to see this jacket even more in detail, and if you haven't watched it, go back to my channel. There is a recent another stories haul and uh, I probably spoke even more about this jacket in there so if you like it you can even go back to that video and uh, take a look there um, so this is number three in the list 129 euros which I think it is still an excellent and affordable price for a jacket um, the stitching I can come closer so you can see the detail the stitching it is quite uh, popular this season um, it comes in three colors I like the black but it comes also in a bit of like dusty pink and military green uh, I like the black and then in terms of details you have like this high color which if you live in a cold country and here is also quite windy so it comes um, so it happens to be like quite um, useful to have like a high color and then you have a lot of pockets so you have these two big front pockets at the front and then you have side pockets as well I'm wearing a size large um, but if you don't like it this big I do like the oversized fit um, it comes already quite big so maybe in this one you can also go for your regular size uh, I think I like it but I think I could have also gone for a size medium and it would have looked good as well because the sleeves are like really really long but I do really like an oversized jacket. Next up in terms of like the price escalation that we're doing it is this Arquette jacket. It's one of my favorites. If you follow my YouTube you've seen it in my last week video in the Arquette haul. Um, if you follow my Instagram, you've seen it in quite a few pictures already, uh, so you can tell it is quite of a favorite. Uh, when I saw it on the Arquette website, fell in love immediately, love the color, love the fuzzy material, and um, also I loved the price. It's like 150 euros for this jacket, I thought it was a bargain. So. Um, quite a lot of details so you have a detail in the sleeve like buttons that kind of disappear when you button it up a big color I love the sporty chic vibe that comes with this jacket because I think it's like it's still quite chic but like very relaxed I wear it a lot when I do like a stroll in the city but I still want to look quite put together and chic but maybe I don't want to go for like a very elegant look and I think this is the perfect jacket for that. The fabric is made in Italy so I think for the price it is uh, really excellent and I size up to a size 40. Now it's not like even if I sized up it's not massive so I would um, I would advise you if you get this jacket to go one size up anyways and then uh, when you when you go on the Arquette website you will see that it also comes in like in a check uh, print and that is also really cool like I was very tempted to get both and I might still get the check one as well um, because it is like such a cool jacket I think I love it uh, next up is this camel jacket this is 299 euros Ivy and Oak. I think, I don't know if you know the brand, uh, I think it's a German brand. 
they have such a nice outwear like the coats are like really good material and i think it is still a very good price for what you get in terms of fabric composition as i said this is 299 euros and um 70 percent wool and five percent cashmere uh, for less than 300 euros i think it is so good i'm gonna show you i sized up to a size 42 um, and I really like the oversized styling masculine uh, cut of this coat you have pockets on the side and then you have a big collar um, double it's like a double breasted jacket like two buttons and then you have, similar to the Arquette one, this detail on the sleeve. I love the camel color, but it comes in more colors as well. I think it comes in like dark, like blue or black, and red as well. I don't wear red, but if you do, uh, you can take a look on the website. And um, I didn't have anything like this, like this jacket in my wardrobe, so I think it is a really cool one to add. Next up it is a black coat and surprisingly I didn't have a black coat in my collection. I always go towards the neutral colors so this season, last month, I was like I do need a black coat because I quite like it. It is as well from, an, from Ivy and Oak so you see I really like this brand. Like I think for the price you get so much in terms of quality of the fabric that is you totally have to check it out for coats. I went as well for a size 42, so I sized up and I love how it looks. Like, look at the sleeves. Like, I couldn't go, honestly, I couldn't go smaller than this because the, the sleeves are just right. Uh, I have like very long arms. And this one, it is 100% virgin wool for 329 euros, which I think it is excellent. And you have a belt. And so you kind of, on your body, um, you kind of have like a double layer, so it keeps you really warm. Uh, and then the top here, the collar still sits, well, this is too much. The collar still sits like quite loose and I think it is very elegant. You have pockets. Um, and then I think with all the, I will show you on a different coat. I tend sometimes also to, if, you want, if I want to make a belted coat even more elegant and chic, I even remove their fabric belt and then I add a different belt on it. I really like that as well. Um, and it is a way to like, you know, refresh a coat that you already have in your wardrobe and maybe, you know, just by changing the detail a little bit, like it feels like a new coat, if you want. And um, it comes also in a gingerbread color, which I really like, and then in a light color as well. Next up, it is another Fox Fur, a um, bit more expensive. But you will see in this one that I got the sort of like matching one with Emma. I have the thing that I really like to match with my kid. So <laughs> when I see a website that have uh, kids wear and women's wear as well, and I order something for myself, I tend to order like a matching piece for Emma as well. I really like it. So for example, Ivy and Oak, they also have kids wear and I get a lot from them. If you go on my Instagram, uh, we are matching in the dark coat that I just showed you. There is a picture of the two of us together. <laughs> but anyway, so I got this one for me, which is a beautiful pale green. Like, so green is very popular this season, but I don't really wear colors. But this one, it is a sort of like gray, with the touch of pale green and I thought it was like a really chic color. Um, I like it with like light underneath but I think I also really like it in a total black look. This is 330 euros and I'm gonna show you 
I'm gonna show you the matching one for Emma as well. It's not a fox fur, but it is a sort of like little teddy coat. Um, really good quality. Feels quite warm. I love the little flowery printed um, uh, lining and uh, the pretty much similar color. So this is their kids section. You can take a look. I'm gonna link this for you as well. It's super cute. <laughs> Next one is a puffer and I think it's the only big puffer of my collection but I know that it is a style that I'm gonna reach to it a lot now that it starts snowing. <laughs> I really like this jacket because it is a puffer but it is a very feminine one. It reminded me a lot when I saw it on the website uh, to the Prada puffer jacket. Uh, it is a very similar cut but with a very different price point. This is 394 euros, while I think the Prada one is around the 2000, maybe even more price point. So definitely this one more affordable. i show you closer. And then you can even open this, or depends how cold it is. And it really like the fact that defines your waist. I'm also, wear, I'm also wearing a size large and it is kind of like a good generous fit. I really like this one. And it is definitely very warm. This is something that if we go skiing I could also wear you know ski pants like tight like sort of like legging ski pants with like mom boots or you know, the days that it's gonna be snowing, like, you know, uh, snow boots with like nice skinny jeans or leggings and this jacket, I think it would be, it, it will be perfect. Next up, checks. Now, I love this coat. I, if you go on my Instagram, I have so many pictures this season with this coat. I've been wearing it a lot. I love it. And I think it's in a previous haul as well here on my YouTube channel. It is reversible, so you can wear it either on the beige check side here or on the brown side. So I mostly wear it on the brown side. I'm wearing a size large and when you look on the website it says that to go for your normal size because it comes already quite oversized. I have to disagree because um, I sized up and this is not oversized, it's like just right. So uh, I think um, I would always size up to this one. You have pockets and you have pockets on both sides. So even if you wear it reversed, you still have pocket on the other side and then you have the contrast color. I'm gonna add the belt now. So this is how it looks belted. I love it. I always wear this coat belted and um, this belt is from the same brand by Malina. This is the way that I wear these coats all the time. It is 500 euros. The way it's made you kind of have two coats so it kind of makes sense that it's a bit of a higher price point and I also have, you can see on my Instagram there is a picture there and I also have the same scarf. So it's like a sort of you can build up in like a three pieces. So the scarf, it is exactly the same print and the combination all together, it is very, very elegant. I love it. Next up, uh, same price point, 500 euros. It is a very classic camel coat from the curated. It is 70% wool and 30% cashmere. You can definitely feel it when you put it on that there is cashmere inside by the look of it, by the feel of it. Uh, and it is, I think, the most classic camel coat you can think of. Um, I'm also wearing a size large, and then you have pockets. I really like this coat. And you can button it as well, if you want. And I must say that their quality, it is so good. I've been wearing decorated coats for years now. Uh, at least 
three years and wear it a lot every winter they have an excellent it's like a small brand but they put a lot of effort in uh, creating very good quality pieces and it really reflects on the items they are very durable they don't lose the shape the material is excellent like it feels expensive it looks expensive and uh, yeah I, I it's such a good classic I think it's a very good coat to have in your collection if you can spend the amount of money but from now on from these pieces on that are like 500 euros and above I'm gonna try and look for some alternatives to link together in the description box um, we have the last two coats left and they're both from Max Mara they are my two designer coats that I am so fond of like so the first one it is the iconic Max Mara teddy coat I have it now for two years um, this is a classic and I think it's something that it will stay in my wardrobe forever this one is designed to be very oversized with a dropped shoulder and the fact is that this coat it is so warm even like two years ago we went the as so I bought it two years ago and that winter we went skiing and I wore it every day it is so warm uh, so it's designed to be big to be oversized to have layers underneath but the thing is like sometimes I wear it like this a lot because it is it is really so warm but it is just so nice to have one coat that you know that when you wear it you will not be cold uh, so this is expensive it is 1975 just under 2000 euros uh, but as I said this is an investment piece is a piece that will stay with me forever I know that out there there is like a million copies of this coat but I think when you have the real one you can really see it well first of all I think in the um, the way it is cut and designed uh, before having this I did have some high street teddy coats like from Mango I think but they were not cut like this one at all like this one you can see like the drop shoulder um, the stitching like is like all double stitched on the collar as well so you can really see that this is the original one and then of course the material uh, is not polyester it is 88% uh, real camel fur and 12% silk so uh, that's why it's so warm that's why the fit looks so good and this is why like it really also look luxury coat uh, when you wear it like the feel of it the look of it and uh, yeah and the next one it is my latest Max Mara investment and it is of course the, if you see my Instagram you know already it is the Madame um, I've seen this coat um, in the Max Mara store I bought, I bought both coats in London went into Max Mara to buy the teddy coat and then when I was there two years ago I saw this coat and then they told me the story of it and I fell in love but that day I was gonna buy the teddy coat so I was like two Max Mara coats in one day is too much <laughs> so I went since I went in for the teddy I bought the teddy on that day and then I kept thinking about the madame for the past two years and then last year it was locked down so we didn't go out a lot and this year for one of the first things that I bought for my winter wardrobe it was the madame coat <laughs> I'm gonna put it on and you see how it looks like but you can see it on the cutaway as well now I fell in love with the coat when they told me the story of it because I really like timeless pieces this is something that you can also find vintage because basically since 1981 they've been designing uh, this coat and it remained the most like the best seller coat of Max Mara so this is like I think in the world one of the most iconic timeless coats you can ever find and uh, I'm wearing a size Italian 44 I really want it big I really like to wear it 
with my uh, sleeves like this. This is how, when I was in the, in the Max Mara store, this is how they showed me that it should be worn. So that's why it's good to size up because then of course you have more length in your sleeve to, um, to do this in your sleeve and then make it really big, very 80s. Um, also, I think it is, a, I love the color because it's a more of a lighter, it's a lighter camel. Like for example, you can see the difference with this one is less warm. Um, and it comes with a belt as well, but so far I haven't worn it with the belt. I just like it like this, open, big. And the fabric composition of this one, it is 90% wool and 10% cashmere. It also comes in cashmere, I think, but I think it's like, if what I can remember, it's like, I think 4,000 euros is like double price, while this one is 2,000. And uh, yeah, it's just an investment forever. Okay, guys, this is it. This was my coat collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you want, you know, I have a designer review uh, section uh, in my YouTube channel. So if you want, I could uh, speak and show you more in depth the two Max Mara coats and maybe even compare it to each other. So if that is a video that you would be interested in, let me know and I can film it for you. Uh, also like, you know, style with different outfits and uh, we can really focus more on the two quotes. I think it would be a nice video, but let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. You will find all the links in the description box for, as I said, for the more expensive items, I'm gonna link more affordable options for you. And uh, feel free to ask me any questions and um, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I see you next week with the next video. Bye.